What's up everybody, Landon with Late Model Restoration. This video will cover my quick overview and install on J&M's adjustable tow links designed for the 2015 to 2017 Mustangs. During hard launches at the drag strip or heavy cornering at the road course, the factory tow links deflect and flex because of the measly stamp steel design and soft rubber bushing on the IRS cradle. The easiest way to rid that sloppy feeling is a set of these J&M adjustable tow links with spherical bushings. J&M's adjustable tow links are constructed of DOM or drawn over mandrel steel tubing for strength and durability. The tube adapters are pulse welded and incorporate a heavy duty center chromoly center adjuster for easy on-car adjustments. The rod ends are also constructed of heat treated chromoly alloy steel and then black oxide coated. The subframe side will feature a self-lubricating bearing, which eliminates the factory rubber bushing. All this is finished off with J&M's signature black or gloss red finishes. Each J&M tow link is proudly designed and made right here in the USA, and in the box will be two tow links, lockout plates, and all needed hardware for installation. To begin, support the car via a lift or jack stands. Remove the rear wheels. If you ever plan on removing the J&M tow links and reinstalling the factory hardware, be sure you take this time to index both sides of the cam bolt with a paint pen. Also, go ahead and reference the front washer and the rear washer with an F and an R indicator. Remove the inner nut from the inner bolt by using a 22 millimeter socket on the nut and an 18 millimeter box end wrench. Remove the nut, but leave the bolt in place. Loosen and remove the outer bolt with an 18 millimeter socket. Let the factory tow link swing down and then remove the remaining inner hardware. With the J&M tow link on a clean workbench, loosen the jam nuts and rotate each side out a few turns. Position the provided hardware through the factory tow link and J&M tow link. Make sure the bolt holes are centered with one another and then finger tighten the jam nuts. Remove the hardware and ensure that the rod end on the J&M link is parallel with the rest of the link. Using a series of crescent wrenches, tighten the jam nuts. The inner hardware will consist of a nut, long bolt, two washers, and two lockout plates. Slide a washer over the long bolt, followed by a lockout plate. Make sure the boxed side on the link is facing down towards the ground. Also, make sure the spherical bearings have a reducer bushing on each side. Position the rod end into the IRS cradle, and then slide the bolt through. Slide another lockout plate over the bolt, followed by a washer. Thread on a lock nut, and then tighten the nut down until it bottoms out the washer. Place a washer over the short bolt. Swing the tow link up, and then slide the bolt through the tow link and factory bushing. Position another washer over the bolt, and then thread on the nut. Tighten the nut until it bottoms out the washer. Torque the inner and outer nut to 129 pound-feet. Repeat these steps for the other side, and then reinstall the wheels. Check your work, and then run the car down to your local alignment shop so they can double check the car's alignment. After that, you're all finished. Now, as far as installation goes, I would set aside about an hour to an hour and a half from car up to car down. This install requires very little hand tools, but you will need a torque wrench. Other than that, these tow links require no modification and are the perfect upgrade for all S550 Mustang owners. If you would like to see more install videos covering the S550 Mustang platform, hit that subscribe button. Be sure and pick you up a set of these J&M tow links from the real Mustang enthusiasts, LMR.com.